Boy, is it hot outside. We've got to find a way to keep cool. Is there anything to help us out? Well, Taurus, the maker of this bladeless neck fan, thinks so. They actually took a design that was already out there about a neck fan with those blades and people were complaining about getting their hair stuck in it. Well, this one doesn't have any blades, so you're not supposed to get your hair stuck in it. This is what we're looking at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, no, these aren't headphones. Let's take a closer look at this bladeless neck fan. All right, so here's the box. This is what it looks like when you purchase it. I will say it sells on Amazon for just about $60. If you're interested, I will leave you a link in the description down below. All right, let's open it up and see what we got. First of all, I really like the packaging. The orange on white is pretty sleek. I like that. All right, so they have a little card here that says, let's start a wonderful journey. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so in here, looks like I have my charging pack or cord. And then I have what looks like directions. All right, here we have our bladeless neck fan. So let me see, I don't have any power from the factory. Oh, cool, it does. It does have a little bit of a spinning element in there and on that side as well. So what happens is, is it's bringing in the air through here and it's sending the air out through here. So you're actually not getting the air from these spots, you just bring the air in. So that's kind of a cool design. A lot of times when I test out fans, I use a candle and I blow it out. Today I want to try something a little different. Let me try some bubbles. All right, hopefully this works. So if I'm gonna turn this on, oops, I think I put it, I pushed the button twice so it's on the middle setting. All right, so let's see what happens. Oh, is it gonna blow some bubbles? Oh, that's cool. Let's turn it up a setting, see what happens. Nice. Am I out of bubbles? Oh, no. There. That's cool. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read the directions and figure out how to set this up, and then we'll come back. So it's been about three days since I did the bubble test, and I know that seems weird since you just saw it, but I wanted to let you know what I've done in those last few days. I actually ran this completely dead because I wanted to see how long it would take from a dead battery to completely charged, and it took about two hours. I will say this little blue light on the side, when you're right about to run dead, it starts blinking and just lets you know, hey, you need to charge. Well, then I ran it on high, and as running on high straight, I got about two hours. And then if I ran it on low, I got about four hours. So your usage will be between two and four hours, depending on how you use this. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to do a, like a decibel test. And so I have this, this phone here. I'm just going to cover up this ad because I don't know what's going to pop up there. All right. So my normal conversation, you can see where it's ranging, right? So let's turn the fan on low. Medium. And then high. So I wanted you to see firsthand, it's not that loud of a fan, uh, but some people are sensitive to um, sounds and such, so I wanted you to be able to see that. Now, I wanna go test this out a few different ways. So you know the unit is charging when the blue light sort of pulsates or blinks, just like it's doing right now. Okay, so when the unit has finished charging, the blue light is no longer pulsating. It is a solid blue light, and we are ready to use this neck fan. All right, so I'm going to be taking a little trip today, about a 35-minute drive, and I'm not going to be using air conditioning. Now, that being said, I will unroll the windows from time to time because no one needs to sit in a hot car for 35 minutes. It's about 75 degrees outside. I have my neck fan on cool, so I'm hoping it keeps me cool, but I'll keep you posted along the journey.
Alright, so I've been driving for about 25 minutes. Exterior temperature is 78 degrees, which means it's a lot hotter in the car. I will say my neck and my chin area, this right here, is, is definitely cooler um, than the rest of my body. I'm pretty sweaty, so I wish this thing was a whole body fan instead of a neck fan. Um, so that being said, it is working around my neck. My forehead is pretty sweaty. Um, I did note that. All right, so I'm near the end of my drive, and I will say, as I've been going along, yes, I have been rolling the windows down and up, just let some fresh air in, but I have increased the speed of the fan. Right now, the fan is on high, um, just because after a little while, I felt that the low wasn't giving me a whole lot of cooling. Um, I will say my neck area is pretty cool. My forehead is sweaty a little bit, but my neck is cool, so it's kind of doing what it's supposed to do as a neck fan. So, I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts of these neck fans? Is this something you've used before? Would you consider using it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion. I know what you're thinking. Are those those flip up tack glasses? Yes, they are. And no, I don't typically mow the lawn in a colored shirt. All right, so here I am mowing the lawn. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. There's just a breeze coming through here. Um, I've got my neck fan on, on that second level. It's keeping me kind of cool. I kind of like what I'm feeling so far, so I'm gonna get back to mowing this lawn. Well, the lawn's done. I kept cool. I like that. All right, so in this video, we've been looking at the Taurus bladeless neck fan. And their claim to fame is, well, you're not gonna get your hair stuck in there. And I did not get my hair stuck even once. That being said, I tried putting a few things in there, like I put a paintbrush just in there and just a few of the little strands of the paper. And actually, the spinning just stopped. And so I think um, they have something there that will pretty much protect you. I would still caution about putting hair there, even though I've tried it, I tried getting my hair stuck, I just couldn't, but I would still have caution doing that. Question is, did this keep me cool? Sure it did. I was cool at different places. Now the car test, it was a little different because I was in a hot car, but I still felt like this area was kept cool. And you know what? That's got a lot of benefit. I will say it is pretty flexible and it could twist and bend. I've been doing this for the last couple of weeks, just seeing how it works. Um, so there you have it. It is $60. There is a link down in the description. I really do appreciate you sticking around for this review. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. During this review, I actually got to use my flip up tack glasses. That was pretty sweet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna link that video right up here, just in case you didn't see it. So make sure you're logged into YouTube so you can see this video pop up and go ahead and click it. And by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right over there. Go click it, it's safe, I promise.